Oh, are you ticklish? Okay, today let's take a quick look at the Medicom Mafex DC Batman Nightfall Bane. Burn! I'm gonna attempt to not do that for the whole video. I can't help it. Once those sweet, sweet tones came out of Dark Knight Rises, that's how Bane talks in my head. Doesn't matter what iteration, what media, cartoons, comics, movies. Hey! Speaks like this. I'm already failing miserably. Open the toy already. Looking at the package, it's what we're used to with Medicom Mafex. There's some graphics, there's some logos, there's a window, and the rest is just kind of, just kind of there. Same thing, different order. On the side, Bane looking all boof. Batman DC Bane Batman Nightfall version action figure Mafex number 216. On the back, more pretty promotional shots showing what the figure can do, what the figure comes with. Logos, legalese, more of the same. Wait a second, scary bear's back. Is that Asuto? On the side, logo again, picture on top, logo again, little bit of window on bottom. There's your warnings, choking hazard, small parts, not for children under three years. Do not put Bane in your mouth. Warnings, 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 phone numbers, unpiratable hologram sticker, barcode. Let's get this open and see what's going on here. And it's just a nice big guy action figure. A muscly, bulky character realized in plastic form perfectly. But not overdone. It still looks streamlined. It looks sleek. It's almost, well, okay, it is comic booky because it's based on a certain artist, right? A certain storyline. While there's wrinkles at the really stretched parts like the crotch area and then above the knee and like the high points of the muscles it still has a smoothness to it at least above the knee below the knee it goes baggy it gets a bit militaristic that adds some flair to what could have been a boring design choice tight pants all the way down would have just been a streamlined body silhouette which it is upstairs up above the belt it's just muscle it's just body this kind of balances the lower half with the upper because you know you got your pecs you got your shoulders you got all this up here if those hadn't have been bunched up it would have been very open very airy is that enough talk about pants now because adding laces to the combat boots does a lot too again plain black you add laces with a gray color to it, crisscrossing, tied up at the top, it gives you something to look at. It's visually interesting. On top of the different sheen to that black, this is leathery, this is glossy, this is a bit more dull, more matte. Same thing goes for the sole of the boot. That simple little change right there adds just enough contrast to make it look almost realistic but we're still talking about a comic book character the tiny tiny deep v sleeveless shirt up here is sculpted onto the torso and i love that the sheen of that matches the pants like it's one piece like it's ring gear because you know kind of luchadorish up here at the mask which we're going to jump to because it matches the color again but then bam you get that bright white designed to the front of the mask along with the red lenses. We've even got the zipper going up and over the top with the pull here on the back. Kind of intricate piping going into the skull for the Venom delivery system that comes down to a box and then a hose running to the back of the bicep where it's strapped down. This is sculpted onto the arm and then there's a hoop plugged into the back of the bicep. Then the hose comes down to the wrist and it's the same thing. It looks like this is a separate piece plugged into the wrist and then the silver bands are sculpted into the forearm, the glove. That adds just a little asymmetry because over here you have fingerless gloves with some metal knuckle dusters. Same kind of glove over here, but then it extends up so it won't cause any rubbing. And I mean rubbing in the real world. If that wasn't under there, that'd just be on bare skin. That'll cause a rash. That'll cause some kind of inflammation, some kind of irritation. That silver ties into the belt. And there you have some circles with some canisters on each side and then segments that just run all the way around. My brain goes, there's gonna be some pouches around back because that's how it's been trained to think when it comes to belts on comic book characters. But nope, it's simplistic. And it works into the design that has just, again, little flourishes just here and there to catch your eye as you're looking at it. But you notice what I saved for last, the skin tones, and that is just beautifully done. It's taken a while for Medicom to get around to some nice flesh, and this is some nice flesh. There's kind of a rosy shade work done down in the striations of the muscles, adding some shadows, some depth, and there may even be some overspray on the high spots, a lighter skin tone to add more gradation between the high points and the low points. Then there's also the body hair, and it's subtle but also noticeable you see that there's some darkness to the outside where arm hair would be but then you get up close and there it is 
and there it is going all the way down to here got it here on the back and even up on the cap inside the shoulder to have the arm hair coming up to the torso i also like the little hint of vein work here and there you can see it here and here when the shadows catch it right. The skin tone even comes up onto the neck and then they sculpted the bottom of the mask wrapped around that. And what's interesting there is that since the zipper, the pool is up here, they sculpted the bottom part open. That is a nice attention to detail. A few engineering points, the shoulder cup in there is hinged up and down so that shifts along with the ball coming out to the shoulder allows for a bit more movement outside of that plus forward and back that cap that covers the gap does get squirrely in some positions and you got to get in there and kind of pull it shut but it's not too bad there's a drop down hip that works so well that a figure the size of bane can kick up this high and i'm talking straight forward up kick look it's past 90. that's also helped by a rubber crotch cover you noticed a minute ago when i pulled the figure apart that the belt is attached back here we see that with some moff x figures that allows the belt to float up and down to get out of the way of articulation but it doesn't fly around unique to bane because there's not a lot of characters running around with a drug dispenser plugged into the back of their head is the hose running right here that is a nice soft pliable material you can move the head into any position it doesn't get in the way of that and surprisingly it doesn't get in the way of arm movement either look that hose is running under there now it did drag the head back a little because i put it here if you go to here you can still look down and still raise the arm. So yeah, that is very, very nice. Since we're talking articulation, there is a dumbbell joint at the top of the neck with a ball down at the base. No hair, no cowl. He can look up that far and then look down this far. So much tilt. Batman, where? Talked about the shoulder. There is a cup in there that moves up and down. There's a ball on the outside of that that goes forward and back. So you can get around for here. And that's nice because you can give him that big man look of so muscular, can't put his arms out to his sides. But if you shift that out, you can. That comes out to the shoulder, allowing for a rotation all the way around with a hinge that goes up to, well, okay, goes up to there without the help of the shoulder assembly, it goes up to there with the help. Swivel at the bicep, double elbow not bad for a big guy swivel hinge swivel at the wrist there's hinge up and down and then if you take that and turn it to here put the hand back on you can turn it into side to side or any direction you want to go dumbbell joint mid torso ball at the waist crunches oh, oh man that is nice and arcs back and then some tilt some tilt rotation drop down hip kicks up beautifully kicks back not bad at all what's it gonna do oh yeah, yeah, yeah almost all the way out there's rotation inside that assembly it doesn't go all the way around but it does turn double knee oh not bad for a bulky guy and i got to point out once again i love mafex knees no swivel at the boot but the ankle is swivel hinge swivel actually that's wrong i'm coming back from later in the video where i tried to pose the figure up and i cranked on the ankle and i popped the ball joint out and that's all it is is a ball joint you have your socket you have your stick you have that round thing in your face rotation here goes back goes forward more for some reason and then tilt is all on that ball. Sometimes simple is better. It's best not to overcomplicate things. And then there's a toe joint that goes up to there. In the package, Bane comes with two fists. Then there's two relaxed hands, two flat hands, two pointers, two grabbing hands, and two grasping, two reaching out to grab hands. Hands pop right off. They're held mostly by friction, the size of the peg going in. It's not really a pop. Then this is the most genius thing import companies have come up with in the past few years. Packing them like this allows the sprue to keep the hole the correct size to go on just like it's supposed to. Coochie coochie. Then there's an alternate face plate with a different design to the mask. The eyes are smaller, the points are a little sharper, there's more angles to it. I'm not a Nightfall expert or Bane from this time in his history. I just know that this feels more classic. Well, I like this. 
I can't decide. But I called it a faceplate because of this. It's not a full head, which makes sense. I guess it's easier than unplugging all these pipes going into the back and then changing out the whole head. Going from here angles the pegs a little bit and it kind of bunches up here. If you pull straight, yeah, there we go. I like that one too. <laughs> I can't tell. I think this is the cover that I've seen more than anything. Hmm. <laughs> Bane measures at about seven and a quarter, and because he's a He's about three and a quarter inches wide outside shoulder to shoulder, which makes him quite substantial next to the Metacom Mafex New Adventures of Batman, Batman, and Joker. No, 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 no. There's the Mafex Nightfall Batman I never reviewed with the McFarlane Toys Retro New Adventures Batman head. The blues match way better than I expected. And then here's the Metacom Mafex Hush Joker with the McFarlane Toys DC Retro New Adventures of Batman Joker head. Can't help it. I just want to put him with Scooby Doo. Okay, okay, I'll switch. Swap on the Nightfall head. And then here's Metacom Mafex Hush Superman. If you like a smaller Bane, here's the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Bane and Catman. It's not bad size-wise, but it's definitely different style-wise. Here it is with the Mattel DC Universe Classics Connect and Connect Bane, and then some random DC UC Batman. It's the same body. Finally, here it is with the Mafex Venom and Symbiote Spider-Man, just because they're two of my favorite Metacom figures. Plus, I feel like some people would have liked this Venom to be this size next to this Spider-Man. And I'd argue that this Venom's pretty dang close to his actual size in those first appearances. We're gonna eat your brain. I think not, because I'll break your back first. So at the end of the day, new favorite Bane. What else do I have to say? We've gotten a lot of Banes over the years, different styles, different sources, but it all comes back to this look. This is just classic Bane. This is most people's mental image of this character. Unless, of course, you saw him in the movie first or something like that. Doesn't matter if you make him Hulk-sized, human-sized, somewhere in between, you throw tactical vests on him, something. There's still those basic elements, and this is the purest form of that. In action figure form. And that's exactly what I wanted. Metacom read my mind. Boo -doo 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 produced it. Can't ask for better than that. It seems a bit bare bones, but you're getting a lot of plastic for a Mafex figure, so I don't mind there just being hands and an alternate faceplate. This is the human form, articulated nicely, the, the smooth, silky colors to it. It's Bane. It's great. If you want it, get it. If not, there's going to be another one at some point, right? There has to be. It's Bane. Bane!